about our interceptor system and, and kind of how it works, it isn't just you know a pipe down your street, a pipe down someone else's street. It's really, it's the seven county metro area that works together to ensure that everybody can take a shower, do their daily activities in their house, and not worry about any of the water ending up in a river without going through our process and being clean by the time it comes out and back into the environment. The Metropolitan Council has an inspection process that we use. We have cameras that we set down into the line and video the sidewalls of the, of the sewer, make sure that they're not corroded and ready, ready to fall apart. Then we take those that radiant system and we derive a capital plan and rehab our system, make sure it functions well into the future. Uh, we're at the uh, Empire West Water Treatment Plant. Uh, it's here at the uh, Empire Township um, here in Dakota County. This project will improve our capacity of biosolid storage and also saves energy by reusing our digester gas and some other miscellaneous improvements, including road improvements and electrical improvements. Biosolids is part of the byproducts of our wastewater treatment plant. One of the unique uniqueness about Empire, we treat the biosolids to a higher quality and reuse it and supply it to our farmers around here. It's beneficial for the farmers and also benefits the council and the region as a whole. So we're located in Brooklyn Park. Um, the project is, uh, the south end of the project is located at L32. And the north end of the project is located here at Jewel Park and in between are about 4,000 feet of 72 inch interceptor. This is the lift station L32 located in Brooklyn Park. The interceptor pipe that's coming into this lift station L32 is rated as poor or very poor condition. If the infrastructure is not maintained and upgraded um, as it starts to age and deteriorate, um, there can be uh, the flow can uh, make it out of the pipe, it can make it out of the structures, there can be infiltration from, from rainwater that gets into our structures and into our system that can um, greatly affect all of the additional gallons of water that are treated um, that don't need to be treated. This location of the pipe is very close to the Mississippi River. As you can see, the river is very close. So if spill happens close to the Mississippi River, it's harmful not just to the environment, but also to the public health and safety. We are located on the eastern shores of Lake Independence, a water body that ultimately uh, receives uh, treated wastewater effluent from the city of Loreto's wastewater treatment plant located about a mile north of here. Uh, the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency, its intention was to reissue the wastewater treatment plant permit for the city of Loreto's wastewater treatment facility. That The population of Loreto is about 670 people, so it would have cost the city millions of dollars to upgrade their plant in a very small or low population base to spread those costs over. Independence and Medina owns uh, a combination of lift stations and force mains and some gravity sewer that is of capacity more than what their long-term needs are. So the council, uh, through uh, probably two years of discussions and communications with all three communities, uh, devised a plan whereby the council would lease the excess capacity in the systems of Medina and Independence to provide service for Loretto until such a time that growth around Loretto would justify the uh, capital investment in interceptor pipe. One of the original uh, premises for the creation of the council was to coordinate services between, between communities. So this, this uh, particular situation uh, really fell within the original parameters and basis for the creation of the council in the first place. Now we're in southeast Minneapolis, right in Minnehaha Park, on the west side of Minnehaha Creek. The Metropolitan Council has a aged and deteriorated sewer in the area. Our job here is to rehabilitate it so that we can stop the corrosion and keep the facility operating into well into the future. If there were to be a, a structural failure on the pipe because of the corrosion, you know, we could potentially you know, damage natural resources 
uh, flood homes with wastewater in the basement. This project has many great things about it. We transport the wastewater away from the region and treat it regionally so that all the neighbors and all the people that use this area have clean water resources to kayak in and fish in and so that we don't have wastewater backing up into sewer homes and just all around protect their way of life. The good part that I love about my project is not just working on the computer, but meeting people, understanding their concerns, trying to address their uh, issues or whatever questions they have and providing a good and clean environment. So when I go home, I feel a little bit satisfied if I answer some community people or the people's question and help them understand why we are doing it and try to reduce their uh, anxiety that they have with the project. This is all about protecting the residents, protecting the environment, making sure we have reliable service for our residents. I was a natural resources major in college, uh, you know, and so uh, the path I ended up on um, here taking, taking care of making sure that the, the wastewater, you know, in a community that I really love, that I've lived in for 20 years, um, gets, gets managed in a way that um, benefits the environment is something that's really important to me.